Sandy with two super quick tips for today's video. One is on transferring images into your Bible. And the best way I found is to trace it first onto tracing paper, whether you're working from a photo, from a drawing, from a printable, whatever that is. I just color on the back of it with pencil. You can do it with a number two pencil. I happen to be doing it with a fancy art pencil, but just color over the parts that you're going to trace. You don't have to do the entire image just those parts that have ink on them. And then you can turn it over and line it up because it's on tracing paper. And once you line it up, then you can just start to trace it with another pencil. If you're doing it on the Bible itself, like with the Bible paper underneath of it, think about it, doing it as a very soft pad of paper. If you want a sharper line, put something flatter underneath of it. So something that's a more hard surface under that page and you'll get a sharper line. Okay. I'm going to trace all these guys on here, peeking periodically to make sure it all got done. And now for tip number two, this high tech C pen. It's a pen that an artist friend of mine turned me on to because we were talking about pens with a really thin line and comparing different kinds of brands that we use. And I've been using technical pens when I want a super fine line. And for these Meerkat, I wanted to be able to make all the fur, all the little tiny hairs in it. And this pen makes a super, super tiny line. I love that. You can get a Micron that'll do a line that small and a technical pen that couldn't do a line that small. However, both of those feel like they're delicate nibs. This feels more like a regular pen. It just use it like you would a regular pen. It has really good flow to it and it's super cheap. I got to pack five of them and I'm set for a long time with these. So if you're looking for a pen, this is a good one to get. However, it's not waterproof. Just so you know, don't watercolor on top of it. You can do your watercolor first, and then add your pen lines, but you don't want to do water on top of this because then you'll end up with a mess. I really wanted to test it and see is this going to ghost or bleed and to what extent if it did. So I was testing by doing several layers and doing cross hatching with these meerkat so that I could end up with a good test of if you put a goodly amount of this ink. Anytime you're using ink, if you go over and over and over it, whatever kind of pen or ink that you're using, it's going to bleed. So you want to be a little careful with that, but I thought this would be a good image to test and see how it works. So I compared it to, on the left-hand side is a page that has Micron on the back and the high tech C is on the right. And they ghost about the same. And that's just something that's gonna happen anytime you use a pen. If you want to write on the back of it or to do some journaling on the back, just put some gesso over that. And the ghosting will not be a problem then. So that is all I have for you today. Super simple, I will see you again next week. Take care, bye-bye.